please note that this video contains spoilers. Put off by how long this video is, don't worry, I tend to jam-pack my videos with as much content, as many details as I possibly can, and I try to talk pretty fast, so while the video is a bit on the long side, I don't repeat myself, and I get into a lot of details about the subject that you know, pretty much anything that I feel I can comment on and that I think you might find interesting. The Thing 2011 Movie Thoughts. I'm gonna start with the biggest and most obvious gripe. The Thing does not behave like The Thing. I'm gonna try not to spoil the 80s version here, but in that movie, The Thing did actually hide. It was kind of using man as a hiding spot. And gradually trying to gain an upper hand. In this, it attacks almost every chance it gets. I don't know why they felt that this was somehow going to be scarier. And if they just thought that this was the only way that people would accept it today, I know a lot of people today are thinking that we don't, we won't accept the horror the way it was originally made. People like Paul W. S. Anderson. Why, Mila, why? And they're completely wrong. Just because teenagers today might think that they know all the answers does not mean that they should be changing a narrative rule that has been intact for quite some time now. I don't know how many hundreds of years, but the whole idea of build-up, that goes back a while. And no, I'm not saying that you shouldn't change things just because we've been doing them for a while. I'm saying if you're going to change something that we've been doing for a while, there should be a reason for it. And not just, well, I don't like it that way. There should be some harm connected to it, and or there should be a better way of doing it. Build up psychologically works with, we, we expect there to be something. You can't just suddenly have something pop out and for it to be as scary or have as lasting of an effect as something that's been properly built up. The terror of the 80s version was that you did not know who was the thing. You, you looked at these men and you were like, any one of them could be, maybe, maybe half of them are. And in this movie, that never happens. They actually, they even, they stand around the fire outside and it's supposed to be that, but it, it just doesn't work. It's, it's far too attack happy. And I did read briefly on the IMDb fact where I could see that some some people who like the film, I presume, were explaining it away with, oh, but it just doesn't know people yet, and it, it didn't know that it should be more careful. Yeah, that is not the thing. That, if, if, again, if you're gonna do, if you wanna make a monster movie that's like that, by all means, but don't call it the thing, because it's not the thing. And it also just doesn't make sense that it would... Yeah, that, that it wouldn't automatically presume that this might make sense. Or maybe, just maybe, learn it over the course of this movie instead of just in between movies. You know, that dog that runs off at the end, which, by the way, is about the only time that dogs are ever mentioned. I think we see a dog like once in the movie. 
Why? Well, because it has to tie in with the... If it's gonna be that vague, just don't do the prequels, seriously. Now, that's... That's one thing, the build-up and the fact that it doesn't hide. Another is that it moves really fast, where it was... It was very clear in the 80s one that it was very vulnerable when in monster form. In this one, it stays in monster form for stretches of time for no reason. And I especially can't stand how the entire climax is then being hunted by this one thing that... Yeah, that just... Why doesn't it change back? Why doesn't it change... The, there's even a time where Kate and American chopper pilot, who I cared so little about, I honestly did not bother to remember his name. Why didn't it just take the form of American chopper pilot? Yeah, I'm not going to repeat the whole thing. And try to trick Kate and say, hey, I'm back. And then they could have the, your earring is in the wrongs. That was one of the more decent ones. When she was looking inside people's mouths and some of them responded, oh, you, you can't see mine because they, they even pointed out, so I'm going to be killed because I floss properly. A little bit of not another teen movie broke back into, what's his name, Christian something. Yeah, that's... I'm, I'm sorry if you're aware that it's goofy as hell. You might want to just go ahead and change it. That that might be the, the smart thing to do. It's just really dumb. It's fine that the blood test got screwed, even though that was an original. But to have it be... We're gonna look inside your mouths now, and, and one by one, I also really didn't get how the, how that guy, Lars, maybe, who doesn't speak English, the, the Norwegian who doesn't speak English, he just suddenly gets it, it's like, oh, open your mouth, and that's, I think it's one of the Norwegians who actually said that to him, and then, then he understands, oh, that means I'm not the thing, okay. So he understood intuitively the whole thing about fillings. I'm pretty sure I did not miss it being explained to him in Norwegian. Now, yes, the, the speed at which it moves. For one thing, it's really inconsistent with the 80s movie. And for another, it's just, again, one of these things just because something doesn't move fast doesn't mean it can't be scary. They... Where are they gonna go? I could understand if they had set this movie in... You know, today, with cell phones and in a crowded city. Then I could maybe more understand why you want them to be fast. But... They're isolated. They're trapped. The thing seems much more tolerant of the ice, the icy cold, than they are. So why do you need it to be so fast and constantly on the attack instead of trying to get away? That was actually... Yeah, in, in this one, it, it keeps revealing itself and attacking. And, and this is what I really can't stand. It doesn't even do it slightly smart. It's, you, know, you have the thing with the, the keys. There should be five keys. Oh, it, there's three and four. You said there were five keys. <gasps> and it's turning. Why did it not... Why didn't it start turning sooner? It starts turning when she turns around. Or it's just in the beginning stages of turning. Why did it knock her out? They were there, the two of them, together. It's just unreal. I have no idea what... 
It's not even that you couldn't do this well. This just popped into my head, literally. As she's leading her there, maybe when, when she turn, when she like opens the drawer, she catches a side of, I don't know, from the, let's say there's a mirror on the table, and she happens to catch a glance of the woman behind her raising like a bat or something. And then she ducks out of the way just in time, and when she smashes it, then she'd be at least caught, and then, I don't know, maybe then turn. But they just keep turning when they really don't need to at all. Now, the... And, and the helicopter crash... That was when I gave up on the movie. When they survived. When the two come crawling back... Oh, no, yeah, we're fine. How did they kill the thing? They apparently were human when they got back, or at least... The... the yeah, American, the, the basketball fan, basketball fan, seemed like he, yeah, yeah, he was human, because she later says that, oh, the, the you're right thing. And then in this, it, yeah, anyway, the, the, he was apparently still human. How did they kill the thing which was with them in the helicopter? Are we supposed to buy that it just, died in the explosion, are we even sure it exploded? If it exploded, how did they get out? You normally don't get out of a helicopter before it explodes just, just like that and, and are fine and can then walk through icy cold and arctic. Anyway, moving on to another frustrating aspect of it. The way it keeps disappointing with the reveals of what was really going on when with with the thing that the Yeah, this is not a spoiler. In the in the 80s one, when they find the Norwegian camp, they find some things that we see it set up in this one or explained away in this one. The axe stuck in the wall. So underwhelming. Like, no, no, no. Leave it there. Leave it there. The director John Connor made a movie, and this is trying to tie into that movie. It's, it's in the exact same spot. Just leave it there. I don't. I guess it was like the blood on it or something. Yeah, it was just really, really forced. The helicopter thing there at the end. You know, oh no no, we didn't kill. What was it? La was that Lars? I don't remember the the guy. And then he comes in and oh yeah, he's like you know, shooting. And and then the dog jumps out. Why didn't it jump out before the helicopter landed? Then there wouldn't have. Okay, fair enough. Then there wouldn't have been an eighty two movie. Okay, good on ya. And the... And, and that whole thing with, oh no, no, the, the helicopter's... It's refueling, you see? That's why it's not here right now, and by the end of the movie, it will return with a full tank. That's why it can fly all the way. So, yeah, just... And, and I get that it might have been disappointing if that was like the one thing we saw at the end of, if there hadn't been a cake and if basketball fan hadn't been there out there in the, the car, if the last two Norwegians alive had literally been these two guys, that then... Wait, did the refueler pilot even know wasn't he the one with the grenades in the 82 version? Why was he so happy to attack? Had he even seen anything that happened in this movie at all? Maybe I'm wrong about that. I, I could be remembering wrong. Anyway, yeah. 
Yes, I, I, I get that maybe it would have been disappointing, especially because we sort of, we, we know from the start of the 80s version, we know there's going to be that helicopter. But then don't make the movie. It's, it's really that simple. This movie did not need to exist. There is no need for explaining things in that movie. It's, it's much more interesting if fans just theorize and then swap theories and, excuse me, and we make up, excuse me, in our own minds, what happened, for example, in the Norwegian camp, especially when our explanation is almost definitely better than the one that was offered here. The torching of that one room, it's, oh yeah, it's, yeah. Now, the... I didn't get why they drug that one guy in after he was it. Why didn't they torch him right where he was? Why drag him in? They weren't, they weren't even securing him. Why not secure him, then maybe consider dragging him in? Why did that one of them just fall apart and... You know, there's only there were like several things running around. What was the point of that? That has, again, that's completely inconsistent with the first movie. And I suppose I can't really go into more detail without spoiling the 80s version, but those who have seen the 80s version, you probably know what I mean. Why did African American Chopper pilot, was that that guy from, was it 4400, I think? Or maybe Lost? One of those two shows, I think, the... Uh, I can't pronounce his name. That guy, the African-American pilot, why did he just shoot? Why didn't he, like, shoot to wound? And why didn't he watch where he was shooting enough that he didn't shoot a hole in the gas tank? Or whatever tank. The dude is carrying a flamethrower. It's... This is obvious stuff. If this... It's again, it's, it's these dumb decisions that get made. This, this guy is supposed to be like military or something. They were talking about how you can't do this with just scientists. You need us. And I, that makes me think they're like military. But they don't... And by the way, how freaking Kurt russell was basketball fan. That was really lame. I mean, they go to the trouble of having a female instead of the sort of Kurt Russell... I, I think th that's what Kate is supposed to be in place of. And then they go ahead and have an actual... Sort of, because he's like one of the really popular characters. Uh, though obviously there are a lot of characters involved in that movie, but yeah... They... They, they cause almost as much trouble themselves as the thing does. And I also that the the scenes near the end where we were literally looking at people hiding from the thing that I, I literally said out loud to myself because I'm a lonely guy. This is no longer the thing. This that is not the thing. People hiding from an alien that has mutated into some gory, gruesome thing. That is not the thing. People fighting it with flamethrowers. People looking for it. And it's, it's way overexposed as well, especially near the end. I... I suppose one could draw a parallel, but it's, yeah, I can't really go into it without spoiling the 80s one. Yeah, moving on. I suppose that might more or less cover it.
please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.